Dedication knowledge drop. How I met Karim Barouche the first time. What makes him one of the GOATs greatest of all times. And why we must never forget his contribution. Focus, focus. Welcome to the Knowledge Drop. This is Focus of the Flow Mo Crew, BeboDojo.com and Cypher Studio. Today is a dedication knowledge drop to one of the greats. So it's about paying respect where respect is due. A year ago exactly, I saw Karim Barouche the last time battling at V1 Festival. And sadly, he passed away a couple of months afterwards. So today's knowledge drop is a dedication to pay respect, pay homage to one of the greats. And to make sure that the next generation who's getting into breaking um, today and in the future will never forget his contribution. There are only a few breakers whose style remains timeless and remains fresh no matter the era or no matter the decade. Karim Barouche from Actual Force is definitely one of them. Alongside with Taya of the Flomo crew, he's the only European recipient of the Oscar Prize of b boying the Spy Award by Crazy Legs. I had always seen tapes from Actual Force. Late 90s when more and more European b-boy videotapes started to circulate around my area. Trading tapes was really what uh, gave us the idea who's who of the scene around that time. Before, before internet and traveling got big. Actual Force was always there on those tapes. Always and everywhere. And the dusty and the grainy VHS tapes would give you an idea who's who in the crew as well. So in actual force, we would get to know the style of Gabon, Karima, Karim Barouche, and Ibrahim and Pascal Blaze and all these guys. And simply listening to rumors and asking around, I would get to know that they would often practice in this place called Chat Le Hall, a shopping mall in Paris. That's a free and open session for all the b-boys that would gather around. And exactly 20 years ago, 2000, I got my first chance to visit Paris. So guess where I would go to the first chance I would get. I would take the subway to Le Al, the practice spot. I got off the subway, walked around the whole place, but with no phone numbers to call to, no Instagram accounts, no Facebook, no WhatsApp, no Twitter. I couldn't find anybody. There was no one out there. So sadly, I had to turn around, walk away and continue my Paris experience without actual force. And two years later was my time to return to Paris. I flew to Paris with Atta, Lisa and Taya to witness an all-time classic battle, Benji vs. Crumbs. If you've seen the footage, you know the battle was crazy, but the footage does no justice, like always. I was there in the first row, shouting my voice sore. The crowd was mad hype on that trip. In the venue, there was another room for ciphers. So before the actual battle, I was there ciphering with the French b-boys. Suddenly, out of the blue, a bold, short guy jumped into the cipher with a light touch, with a light, cat-like, smooth touch on the floor. That's why he got to be known as Le Chat, the cat. And right away, just by the lightness of the movement, I recognized that that has to be the Karim Barouche, one of my personal heroes. And once he dropped to the ground level, to his full work, I saw that the whip and the form and the flow was simply on another crazy level than anybody else in that cipher. He would jump up to his 90, then drop back straight to his sweeps in his footwork level. With a fluid light transition, there was no separation between the levels, the power and the footwork. It was just all continuous straight fluid like motion. And that fluid of flow blew my mind away. I just witnessed one of my personal heroes right there, one meter away from me. And that's the beauty of this culture as well. No matter how big your rep is, you're still there in the cypher with everybody else building and putting your rep in the line. That style and flow still resonates today. And I can guarantee you still resonates 20 years from now too. There's something deep about keeping up the dark, dark years when the majority of people around you quit, but you still push your personal limits and get better at the time when there's not too many b-boys and b-girls around. That builds character and has to be recognized as well. Later over the years, I had a bunch of chances to kick it with Karim. Our travels crossed quite often, and we even flew him to judge one of the Flomo anniversaries in 2013. But there's nothing like that first impression when you least expect it. Karim's flow, style, warm personality, and the contribution to the scene will be remembered forever. 
Rest in peace to a true innovator and a legend. So we salute and thank you for the expression and the efforts and the classic French elegance. Focus signing out with the dedication knowledge drop. Now next up, head out to bboydojo.com for more free inspiration and knowledge. Stay in touch, y'all. Peace.